Latter CV are frequently used in evaluation and selection processes in Brazil for academic positions, scholarship, and research opportunities, providing evaluators with a standardized. Hello, guys, and you're welcome to this YouTube channel. Imagine a platform where your academic and professional journeys come to life, showcasing your achievements and expertise in a structured and a comprehensive manner welcome to the world of lattice resume the only platform cornerstone of academic and scientific endeavor in the whole of brazil before i proceed i would like to thank my friend kazim from pakistan for prompting me to make this video let's go into the detail of it First, what is Lattice Resume? A Lattice Resume is like a digital CV specifically designed for people in the academic, scientific, and technological fields. And it is hosted in a platform called Lattice, which acts as a central hub for storing resumes, research group, and institutional information across Brazil. So it's like a one-stop shop for showcasing your professional experience and connecting with others in your field. A lattice resume is not just a piece of paper. It's a powerful tool used by universities, founders, and review boards to judge if someone is right for scholarship, teaching jobs, and more. Whether applying for a research money or a teaching job, a lattice resume can make or break your career path so in this video i'm going to be taking you by hand and show you how to create your own resume on this platform wherever you are all over the world okay so i'm going to be sharing my screen with you right now to make it easier let's go into it all right guys so to start your latte cv um you have to click the link attached so once you click the link this is where it's going to bring you to Okay, so it's actually as like one, two, three, four, five, six stages for you to create your own CV on this platform. But everything is very simple. The site itself is user friendly. So the first thing you're gonna do is to is the first section is actually the general detail section. So you're gonna start by providing essential and uh, you know personal information uh, including your name date of birth contact details and nationality so this sets the foundation this particular place sets the foundation for your latest resume so basically like i said here is país de nacionalidade that is the country of origin you pick your country of origin from here so you enter your email from here so you also confirm the email then you create a password saying yeah. you create a password and you confirm the password so right now so the second phase don't save so the second phase is the personal information section where you are going to write your civil name your you know your name your first name and your sobrin uh, your surname so the next one is your date of birth data gina cemento then the country where you are giving you were giving birth to sex. Then what is your race? Call who asa. So your race and your color. So print whatever race you are. So put in there. So right here, if you have a CPF, if you have você possui CPF, same or now. If you have say yes, if you don't have say no, because if you say yes, that means this place is going to open for you to enter. So for instance, look. Same. That means I can enter something here, okay? But if I say no, no, I can't enter anything in this part, okay? So what is your identification number? Which uh, organization um, produce or issue the identification number? Here, you are going to enter the date that it was issued. Then, if you are using passports, you are going to enter your passport number, then validity dates, date it was issued then the country where it was issued so father's name then your father's surname your mother's first name your mother's second name so bring no madam my then let's go to the next one the next one is 
address or e-contact e -contact, or that is your address and contacts so your institution that you are affiliated, affiliated with you're going to put it here then the country step so your your step is just like your zip code then you're going to put in the address you're going to put in the bio the neighborhood they're going to put in the city the, the city they are going to put the h that is the, the uh states then the telephone the cellular you know if you have a land landline and you have a mobile phone number you're going to put them here so the, let's go to the next one which is from a sound academica from a sound academica you will put every of the details of the schools you've attended let me translate this page so this page you're going to put in every completed academic training and the year it was started and year it was completed you know that's what you're going to do in this page so you can see that it is very very easy to create the, the next one is your professional performance so you put in if you are having any professional activities at the moment yes or no if it is yes you click in here if it is no if it is if you click here it's going to bring it out and you, you know fill it up but if it is no you can just proceed to the next one which is occupation uh, occupation area so you can write whatever occupation you are into if you're a lecturer if you're a researcher if you're a student Whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to put it here. Then the language section, uh, enter the language, the languages le uh, level of each selected language. In this language section, so it is important for you to highlight or uh, showcase your language profici proficiency. So this section is a valuable asset for international collaborations and exchange program so this section is also will also demonstrate your versatility and adaptab adaptability so it is important for you to fill it in so once you are done here there's another section where you can impute your research project so what you are expected to do in that section is uh, there is a need for you to highlight your role your contributions if there's a paper you've published you will highlight your role and your contribution if you were the one that come up with the analysis of the data or you were the one that came up with the background whatever it is that you uh, that was your role your contribution to towards the publication of the paper we put it in there so because it's going to provide like an insight into your research interests and expertise so there's also the need for you to also talk about your published paper where you're going to write them so because i'm not filling this form i'm unable to get to this other aspect i'm talking about but once you filled from here 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 and you've gotten to this there you can see the other areas where you can put in your research paper so make sure that you include all your publications your articles books and paper presented at events and be sure to provide comprehensive details you know to substantiate your scholarly contributions and make sure that you also bring to uh, make sure you also mention all the conferences that you've gone to maybe you presented a poster whatever it is make sure you do that and uh, that brings me to the end of how to create your academic CV in Brazil. All right, you're welcome back. So in conclusion, a lattice resume is not just a static document. It is a dynamic reflection of your academic and professional journey. By understanding its significance and structure, you can craft a compelling you can craft a compelling resume that opens doors to exciting opportunities in the scientific and academic realm. Remember your lattice. Remember your lattice resume is your ticket to success, especially if you are seeking a postgraduate admission in any university in brazil i hope you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and to like i would also like you to share this video with your friends thank you and i'm gonna see you in the next video ciao